Good morning, highly esteemed viewers. Welcome to our mathematics tutorial for today. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve for x in 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equal to 1. We are asked to find the value of x. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Remember to press the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I upload my latest mathematics solution content. Thank you. Now let's solve this question. We're going to express 4 to each factor. So we'll express 4 to each factor and that will give us 2 to the power of 2, right? All to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x and that will be equal to 1. So all we need to do is to bring the 1 over to this other side. So we'll have our 2 to the power of 2 all to the bracket x minus 2 to the power of 2 of x minus 1 equal to 0. So remember uh, the law of uh, indices that when we have our a to the power of x multiplied by y this can still be equal to a to the power of y multiplied by x so if we apply that expression here this will become 2 to the power of x all the bracket of 2 minus 2 to the power of x minus 1 this will be equal to 0 so what would this expression give us this expression is going to uh, from this expression we can see that 2 to the power of x is constant so we we'll let our 2 to the power of x to be equal to m so if we have our 2 to the power of x to be equal to m that expression automatically give us m square minus m minus 1 and that will be equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation so we're going to solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. From the quadratic formula, we'll come to see that our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to a negative 1, and our c is equal to a negative 1. So from the quadratic formula, we will see that our m will be equal to negative b, plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from this expression, you can see that our m will be equal to negative of minus 1, which is b, plus or minus square root of negative 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by negative c 1 which is c all divided by 2 times 1 which is 2. If we simplify that expression negative times negative our uh, m will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 1 square will give us 1 minus times minus will give us plus 4 times 1 times 1 will give us 4 and this will be divided by 2. Now our m will now be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So if we expand that expression m will be equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 or we'll have our 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. Now you have to recall from our expression that uh, 2m or 2 to the power of x is equal to m. So if we bring that here, we're going to see that on this side we'll have our 2 to the power of m x to be equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 or we'll have our 2 to the power of x 
will be equal to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. Now let's look at this expression thoroughly. If you look at this expression, you will come to see that if you simplify this expression, we're going to have a negative result. And that shows that our value here is less than 0. And if we simplify this, we're going to have a positive result, which shows that whatever value we put for x here would definitely make x to be a positive value. So uh, positive is not equal to negative. So this uh, this result will give us will not give us a real value. So we will neglect this uh, this part of the equation, and then we'll work with this other part of the equation. So we'll have this solution: two to the power of x to be equal to one plus root five divided by two. So we're going to take the uh, logarithm of both sides to simplify for that. So let's take the natural logarithm of both sides, 2 to the power of x equal to the natural log of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. From the rules of logarithm, we will have, uh, we will have log of a to the power of x. This will give us x log a and if we have uh, if we have in of a to the power of x that will give us x in of a so if we apply it here we're going to have our x in of 2 to be equal to the natural log of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 so to get the value of x we we'll divide 2 by natural log of 2. We we'll divide here by the natural log of 2 and we we'll divide here by the natural log of 2. So this will clear this and then we'll have our s to be equal to the natural log of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 all divided by the natural log of 2. Now if we look at uh, the division law of indices, this expression will now give us x will be equal to the natural log of 1 plus root 5 minus the natural log of 2 and this will be divided by the natural log of 2. This stands to be the solution to that exponential equation. And if you want to solve for that, you can simply uh, expand this or simplify this to get the value of x, the real value of uh, x. This is the solution for now to that exponential equation given to us above. I know you did enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more simplified maths olympiad exam question thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now